Directly behind the Mizpah is the Tonopah Mining Park, a terrific facility that we once visited years ago. We arrived to meet Park Director Jeff Martin. Good to see you. You too, welcome. Thank welcome. you. We've been looking at buildings that have been restored and, and renovated and re rejuvenated. Do you have to do that kind of work here too? So what we do here is what we call it a rest to decay. So we try to keep everything just as it was. When you look around on the property and you see the big head frames that are out here, it's all part of uh, Nevada history. It's, it's um, the culture of Nevada. These are monuments to the culture of Nevada. When you think of the amount of silver that came out of the mines of Tonopah, 175 million troy ounces of silver. Wow. And if you think about that in pounds, it's 12 million pounds. Our claim to fame, what we like to say, is that um, we're the silver that saved the state. Saved the state, and now you're, you're helping to save the park. I see one head frame with a lot of yellow tape around it. I... That is the silver top, so it was falling over. We decided we need to rescue it before it fell over completely. They hooked a crane up to it, and they cut it off those concrete blocks. Now they, they figured the thing to be somewhere around 16 or 18 tons and it turned out being 22 tons. Oh wow. Yeah. They, they picked it up and they spun it around 180 degrees. When uh, the concrete cures, they'll be able to come back with the crane, pick it up, spin it around and set it back in its spot. It's gonna be amazing. We're working on all three of the head frames that are on the property here. And when we're done, we're hoping they're going to stand for another 100 years at least. So. Which would be great. we got some stuff planned for you today. Oh yeah, what yeah. are we going to do? You're going to do a little blacksmithing. So. <laughs> I've, then, uh, I've never done blacksmithing. Well, so. you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. Jeff drives us to another area of the park and introduces us to Joe Sisson. Joe teaches blacksmithing, and today we are Joe's students. I think we do some blacksmithing today if you guys are ready to... I don't know what it takes to be ready, so <laughs> I'm going to trust you because I just think I, think it I can like do fun. damage to myself here. Okay, that's going to be number one. We're not going to let that happen. Oh, good. But we're going to be making some bottle openers today. You always need a bottle opener, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. So this is where we're going to be working today. This is the forge. This is where we'll be heating up our pieces, pulling it in and out with uh, tongs. The anvil. The anvil has a bunch of different parts. This backside is called the heel. This is the face, this is the step, and this is the horn. Now the most important thing with the heat is to make sure that the heat soaks through the steel all the way through. You can get the outside hot, but it doesn't necessarily mean the inside is. Like the microwaving for not quite long enough. Yeah. And then you got a cold center. Cold hot pocket. <laughs> <laughs> so all we have to do is flatten the metal and punch a hole in it to make a bottle opener. Sounds easy enough, right? I can't tell if I'm doing anything. Oh, there goes my earplug. <laughs> okay, now it's cooled off. Uh, I didn't do much of anything. <laughs> a little right. bit, a little bit. Now it's my turn. I can turn the forge well enough, but gripping and hammering at the same time? No, oh, I slipped. It moved. Okay, so we're not great at this, but we do want to try to open a bottle before it gets dark, so we ask Joe to show us how it's really done. We want the hole to be kind of equal on all sides, dead center. We do all of our punching and cutting on the step of the anvil. Turn. Turn. This should shear out pretty well. I think I saw it fall through. Yep. There we there go. go. Yeah, there it is. It fell through. Now we're going to come over the horn. So it's so interesting to see all the pieces of the anvil having a purpose. Yeah. Yes. We get to help with the yeah, finishing right. touch. Okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh. Come on, Dave. You put yeah. a bend in it. Oh, did I? <laughs> That's okay. We can fix it. That looks like a wizard's wand. <laughs> I just bent steel. <laughs> Good job. That's awesome. All right, I'll go first. Do the honors. I'm doing good to, oh, I heard it. Hey! Yay. <laughs> it works. All right, Dave, your turn. Oh, all right. I, I feel honored to use this. Since we actually got to see it in, I know. get made. So cool. Here you go. All right. Very nice. All right. All right. Thank Cheers. you so much, Joey. That Thank was you, so Joe. much fun. You bet. That, that was a blast. Refreshing. Oh, oh, oh that was my oh, oh, party foul. <laughs> oh, party foul. <laughs>